<laughs> because it was edgy and uh, you know naughty in places, and, and mm. bearing in mind that a movie goes all over the world, could you, can you have the same? sense of humour with the movie that you have with the TV series? Yes, absolutely. I mean, I think there were some things that we had to particularly flag up for parts of America or parts of the world that maybe haven't seen the series, so we had to make things a bit more clear. But as far as censoring ourselves, we made sure that we didn't do that because then it wouldn't be absolutely fabulous. Yeah. No, quite right. <coughs> do you ever think that this would actually make a movie because I mean the TV show was obviously so popular and then you sort of teased us by coming back and the Olympics was the last one. Did yeah. you ever think that you'd get to this point? No, because Jennifer always said, oh, this is the last one every time we did the last one. And um, people always speak, always used to say to me, oh, when's the movie coming? When's the movie coming? And I, I just never thought it would and so it never bothered me and it's not something I lost sleep over or thought about. and. So it's just a complete surprise when it and happened. Lovely. How yes. did it happen? What did she, did she well, call you just rang together? and said, uh, do you want to come in for a workshop and have a look at the script? And I thought, well, there won't be a script because <laughs> very rarely a script. Yeah, OK. <laughs> but there was, there was. There were a few pages. <laughs> and we workshopped it and we <clears throat> had a good chat and we all had a great laugh. And, and it was just like, you know, felt the right. old days. Well, and all the felt principles right. together yeah. again. Yeah, yeah. What was that like? Well, it's great. I mean, because we're used to having breaks, as we have done over the 25 years. And every time we come together, it's just like we saw each other yesterday. I know yeah. it's a cliche, but really, we just seem to click and we mm. all get on. We've got the same sense of humour, you know. So. And because it's a movie, there's obviously certain changes. You sort of film all the outside stuff, but the, the set yeah. for the kitchen was a, was a proper, proper set. Well, it was a real house. Yeah. Yeah. It must right. have been weird, yeah. though, because you're back in Television Centre, you'd have had an audience. And I the one know. thing that a movie crew can't do is laugh. No, they can't laugh. And it, and I always think the audience is the, the kind of another character and another part of the cast, you know? And uh, they're such good company. And they help you pitch your performance and you ride the waves of laughs. And, and um, it gives it a completely different energy. So it was a real challenge for me mm. not to have anyone laughing. Yeah. And so we... It's devastating. <laughs> 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 the, I'm not funny anymore. No, um, I can't do it. So the, so the movie really... <laughs> Really, um, is it centres about the, the, the fact that Jennifer has essentially killed Kate Moss? Yes. Well, it's, it's entirely different to you because of I think the, the clothes and the glasses. Do you change when you get dressed as her? Yeah, completely. Uh, it's something really odd happens to me. I mean, I find it really funny, and I just uh, the, the main thing for me is I, I can't, I mustn't be able to look at myself in the mirror my reflection must revolt me and it was actually quite hard because that looks quite trendy now yeah you're right and and so it was really hard to get it wrong and and, and when i went oh, oh, oh that's right then then i've got it right and i don't look at myself for the rest of the day it's a brilliant part to play because you can't allow yourself to be vain in any way so you yeah. just get on with the job and the clothes are really comfortable and she's great. changed i mean a lot's happened in her life she's she's found uh, she's she's with somebody and obviously yeah. there was that whole thing before with that could she ever Ever find love? Would she ever be able to love? She wasn't really shown love. Yeah, all those relationships. she never really had a role model in, in how to deal with men. So yeah. the men that she has had in her life have all been disasters. And she's got a 13 year old daughter and she has a new love interest. And I was already thinking in the back of my mind if we were to do another, uh, you know, film, a sequel, that I don't think that relationship will last because. Uh, you know, Safi is a highly dysfunctional person. They all are. Mm. The whole family is dysfunctional, yeah. and, and that pattern continues. And it's very important that, that they're not introspective. They don't have therapy. Mm. They're really messed up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and for you, the elements of what I would have thought would be terror is is the karaoke scene. <laughs> um, singing in front of 80 drag queens. Yeah, it was really, really very intimidating. Uh, because they're larger than life, you know, and they all came in at 8 o'clock in the morning, and they're all, like, 9 foot tall and just looking extraordinary and, and and I was dressed like a little brown cigar mm -hmm. uh, and I felt so insignificant <laughs> but they were so sweet so professional just the kindest group of people I've ever worked with they were absolute angels mm -hmm. and I had it was the best filming day I've had 
And did my whole career actually. Oh really? Yeah. And did yeah. Um, June Whitfield? Did she celebrate her 90th birthday just shortly? Just afterwards? shortly afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. I, and I think she had three parties. Quite right. <laughs> <too>. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, she's a mighty she's woman, isn't yeah. she? Yeah. I just love. I think her. she should have a damehood. Do you I know? Oh, I think that's right. Absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> Put that out there. And the powers for that you, be. I mean, just a little bit of sort of personal stuff because you did quite well in the movie as well because you found Luke and Luke was a. Uh... <laughs> 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 You're a naughty boy. No, I've only mentioned you. You know what? I used to have a crush on you. Did you? Changing Don't the subject. Don't try and change the subject. <laughs> he, was the, he was the sound guy, wasn't he? The sound guy, yeah. yes. <laughs> so that's real. That, but that, I love that. And we've got a picture of you there, and we won't go into it any further than that, other than the oh. fact that it's quite nice when you, when you, when you do something like that, and, yeah. you, and then at the end of it, you think, oh, this yeah. has worked perfectly Didn't on Didn't see it coming, level. and we were just great friends, and then it continued from there. And yeah, so which is lovely. is lovely. Let's go back to me. Did you have a crush on me? I did. <laughs> <laughs> and you're rocking the silver fox look really well now. Thank you very much. <laughs> Are we, uh, you. For, the, for the ab fab thing, is this is that it? I mean, did, did Jennifer say, oh, this, is, this really is the last? I don't or... think Jennifer would never say never. Uh, you know, and, and I don't. I, I don't think you should ever be finite about anything in no. life. Always, always keep your options open. So there could be more. Hopefully, if people like it. Oh, well, that's more. a no-brainer. Then there'll be that's more. That's a no-brainer. <laughs> because it is a movie absolutely rammed with cameo appearances, yeah. Yeah. and we're not in it. <laughs> I know, that is really so awful, actually. there has to be actually. another movie so that we can be in it. Absolutely. I guarantee you a part. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Jennifer. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure. It's really lovely to it's see so you. It's coming the day you. after the premiere as oh, well. I imagine pleasure. you had a late night last oh, night. Oh, so the movie too. is Thank out you. tomorrow. Thank you. Brilliant. For more of the same, just click here. And don't forget, you can subscribe for even more of these amazing videos exclusive to our channel. Fine, Southern Drawl, you've got gone. You're trying to learn there, that Bible language, my friend? <laughs> that was hard. That was, I, I said, I can't do that. I'll do it with a look. <clears throat> because the, if quoting the Bible stuff you said was oh, too hard to remember. It was. I, could, I mean, because it, it's sort of very sort of, you know, flouncy sort of language. And, it, and if, if it doesn't make sense mm, yeah, to me, it, it, I, it's really hard to... No, you've got to be totally committed to that. Exactly, otherwise, you know... You'd...